Welcome to the Kingdom Hairstylist Podcast. This is your host, Billy Jean. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Hairstylist Podcast. I have one quick announcement before I hop into today's episode, and that is to follow me on Clubhouse. If you are on Clubhouse, follow me at Billie Jean. I've only been on there about a couple of weeks, and today I'll be doing my first room at 6 p.m. If you are um, an Android user, I don't believe that you have the capabilities of downloading the Clubhouse app. I believe it's just for iPhone users, so... You know, you need to go ahead and switch over to Team iPhone anyway. But if you don't want to do that, then I guess they are definitely working on a way that you all will be able to download the app soon. Um, But if you have Clubhouse already and you're on there, follow me at Billy Jean and I'll follow you back. Um, That is the only the only announcement that I have today. But I just want to say I hope that you guys had a wonderful Christmas. My Christmas was awesome. All I did was eat everything and just eat sugar because I have been not eating sugar so I took the time to cheat and sneak me some sugar Um, I had some cheesecake a strawberry cheesecake at that and it was so 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 good Um, but I hope that you had a blessed Christmas I pray that you got wonderful gifts and that you gave some wonderful gifts or if you don't believe in giving gifts that you just still had a wonderful time doing whatever it is that you did, even if you just relaxed that day or cleaned up or whatever it is that you do on Christmas. I pray that it was awesome. I'm going to hop right in today's message, which is about the wilderness. I titled this message in the wilderness and I felt like it was important to talk about because I am still in the wilderness season myself. Um, I started off in the wilderness season about three years ago. And it was when I felt that shift that tug, that pull from the Holy Spirit telling me that it was time for me to just do something different and time for me to let God be God in my life instead of me trying to do everything on my own and doing everything I want to do and how I want to do it. Um, But as we know, the Israelites was in the wilderness for 40 years. So I thank God I'm only three years in and I just know that I'm not going to be in it for 40 years because I'm going to learn all the things that God wants me to learn. I'm not going to take all that, you know, I'm not going to take 40 years to learn what he's trying to show me. So I wanted to talk about that because I'm sure that there's some people on here that are listening that are in the wilderness or have gone through a wilderness season. And it looks different for all of us. Everybody's wilderness season is different. It just really depends on what it is that God wants you to learn. But I thank God, if I can just testify for like two seconds, I thank God that he chased after me. I thank God that he woke me up in the middle of that night three years ago and said, are you ready for where I want to take you? I thank God for that. That moment still makes me very emotional because God really chased after me. Like he really did not let up on me. He could have gave up on me. He could have turned his back on me, but he did not. And so therefore... I'm going to get whatever he wants me to get. I'm going to learn whatever it is he wants me to learn. But my wilderness season is not over. And I know that it's not because I'm still struggling with some things that God told me to not struggle with a long time ago. And my main thing that I'm struggling with, you know, I'm always transparent on here is social media. That is one of my biggest distractions from growing more and more spiritually Um, I feel like I should be a little further along than I am. Um, I spend more time on social media than I do actually reading the word of God. And that is a problem. That's a problem for God. And it's definitely a problem for me. Um, So last week I did something that I'm very proud of, which was I deleted both apps, social, um, Facebook and Instagram off my phone. I have gone back on there just to check up, you know, to see if I had any messages or whatever and you know I hop right off and I'm so proud of myself because that has been a struggle of mine I've done um, fast in the past where I have you know been off social media for a few months or a month and then hop back on and then it's just very dangerous for me because I could sit on there all day from TikTok 
to Instagram to Facebook, I don't get much done. And God has given me assignments and things that he's laid on my heart to do that I haven't even really started. And so that's, I'm just being transparent because I can't get on here and lie and say that I've done everything that I needed to do when I haven't. So pray for me, y'all pray for me as I pray for myself and as I continue to grow. Um, so as I've been off of social media for like a week now, I have been studying a whole lot and I see why God wants me to be more of a studier of his word and a doer of his word versus just out here wasting time on social media all day. Because there's a lot of things I've been praying about, a lot of questions that I have for God. And it's so funny because when you get to a point in your life where you just feel like, okay, I have not heard anything from God in a long time. What could it be? Why has he stopped talking to me? Well, a lot of times it's because he's waiting. He's just waiting to get a chance to talk to you. He's waiting to say anything to you, but you so busy scrolling down and scrolling up and going back and looking at this and looking at this video and watching this person talk on live. And then you don't want to your messages and read all of those. And you don't went back to the news feed. You started the news feed over scrolling down to see what new just new just came on there. And now you don't went from Facebook to Instagram, then back from Instagram to TikTok to watch nine videos and All that time, God has been trying to share some things with you. He's been trying to answer some questions that you've had. And not just you, me. I'm talking to me. I'm not just talking to y'all. I'm talking to me. Um, He's been answering us, but we haven't even been listening because we've just been so distracted. And we have not given God the time that he deserves. So, yes, that is my rant for this week. I have not been doing everything that I know I need to do. And so therefore I am still in the wilderness season. Now I know that I've come pretty far in the, in the wilderness season, but I'm not out of the woods yet because I still have to give God my time. I can't just give him my yes without giving him my time, without studying, without, without communicating with him, without sitting still and listening and waiting for him to speak to me. Um, yeah, some things are going to change. And then not not just because 2021 is coming up, but because I love God so much that I'm willing to do whatever it takes. And if that means not sitting on social media all day, then I don't need to be on there. You know, I'm not missing out on anything because half the time when I when I basically go back in there just to see if I missed anything, um, I haven't missed a thing. And then I get a, a Uh, instant reminder of why I need to stay off of there because I'll see a post that's just dumb or something crazy somebody done posted or something um like one of my pet peeves is to see people so afraid and scared of COVID like all that stuff that God didn't give us a spirit of fear so it's it's things like that that reminds me of why I need to stay rooted in the word and stay studying and and praying and sitting before God and just doing everything that he's called me to do. Um, It's just constant reminders like that. So your wilderness season may look different from mine. Maybe you're still in the wilderness season because of something you need to do or something that he's been trying to show you that you haven't paid attention to. Um, We all have different reasons why we're still in the wilderness season. Some of us have gotten out of it. That's wonderful. I applaud you if you've done everything that God has told you to do. Um, And one one of the podcasts that I listened to recently that I must share about is by my friend. Well, she's not my friend, but she's like a podcast sister. We took a podcast retreat together. Um, Her name is Shala, but I love her podcast. It's called God Goals and Girl Talk. And I'm sharing it because um, listening to her, not her last episode, but the episode before the last episode was called At His Feet, part one and part two. Um, I've only heard part one, but part one blessed me so much that it made me, you know, remember that I have to stay planted at God's feet. And so when you guys get some time, go and listen to God Goes and Girl Talk by Sharla Walker. It's a wonderful, wonderful podcast to listen to. And 
it has opened up my eyes to Martha, Martha and Mary is what she's talking about on the episode. But once you listen to it, it will bless your life just like it blessed mine. Um, I'm not going to keep you guys long. I just wanted to share, you know, my point of view of why I'm still in the wilderness season and what I'm doing to get out of it. So what I'm basically going to be doing for the next couple of weeks is eating the word of God like medicine, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I've been doing well so far and I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to stay on this path because I will be ready for where God wants to take me next. And I will get out of this wilderness season and I will be prepared and I will know the word of God and I'll just be a better person. And I love God and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to just be better. So I pray that this bless you guys and You know, I just challenge you all to think about why you may still be in your wilderness season. Um, And if you didn't know you were in a wilderness season, now I've helped you realize that you may have to do some things different to get out of a season of where you feel lost or where you feel like you haven't heard from God. Um, And that's all that I have to say. I hope and pray that you guys have a blessed rest of the week. I love you all. And I will talk to you guys next week. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. If you enjoyed the podcast, please like it, subscribe to it, and share it with all of your friends.